Good morning to all of you. <clears throat> Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. Now we are going to discuss a case law regarding default bail as per section 167 clause 2 CRPC. Two judges bench, Honorable Justice Sri Lau Nageshwar Rao and B R Gawai. They have ruled that filing of charge sheet is sufficient to give bail or default bail under section 167 clause 2 CRPC, and there is no need for cognizance to be taken. While disposing the case of serious fraud investigation versus Rahul Modi in criminal appeal number 185 and 186 by 2022 on 7th February 2022, that is yesterday. You can see the citation in Live Law 2022, SC page number 138. So here, remember. Default bail can be granted when the charge sheet is filed, but the cognizance need not be taken. What is this cognizance? Cognizance will be taken at different places, different times also. So, cognizance is nothing but taking <coughs> account of or uh, having knowledge of. So, according to 154, when you reach an FIR, whenever the magistrate receives the FIR, he has taken cognizance of the offence. Whenever you file the final report or 173, as per 173 CRPC, after completing the investigation, the investigating officer, normally police officer, he has to file the final report. So the result of his investigation, it may be by referring the case as false, mistake of fact, mistake of law, undetectable, civil nature, like that. Or he can file the charge sheet under relevant sections of law, maybe 302, 307, 364, 375, 376. All these sections. So both sides can be done. 173. Here the main point is when the charge sheet is filed, definitely when it is initialed by the magistrate as a check and put up, it is taken cognizance of. But normally. People are under the wrong impression that unless it is numbered, taking cognizance means numbering. That is either C C or P R C. If these two numbers will be given, C C means straight away magistrate case, P R C means preliminary registered case. That means which will be forwarded to the sessions case for trial. Okay, so. This is the slight difference. It has been enunciated in number of cases. There are Katina of Supreme Court is where cases say that uh, if the charge sheet is taken by the court or taken note of by the court, that means if the police file the charge sheet within the stipulated period itself is sufficient. Same thing is explained once again in this case also. Now let us go to the details of the case. It is a serious fraud investigation. So the directors of Adarsh Group Company, so they were all accused under Section 447 of the Companies Act 2013 itself. Okay, latest. Previously, Companies Act has got 600 sections. Now it has been reduced to 483 or so. Under 447 of the Companies Act 2013 and other provisions of the Indian Penal Code, lot of provisions like. Uh, 417, 418. That is cheating. 420 up to 420, cheating by personation. Then 406. This is nothing but uh, breach of trust. Then 463, 467, 468, 471 and 474. All these things uh, relating to forgery, forgery for the purpose of cheating, forgery for the purpose of production of documents. All these things. Then right with 120 B. So that is uh, criminal conspiracy. All these persons they have been arrested. Right. So actually, lot of uh, twists and turns have taken place. First, the High Court allowed them not to allowed them to surrender. Then the uh, division bench asked them to uh, cancel their uh, bail. All these things happened. Whatever it is, they are in judicial custody. Within 60 days, the police have to file the charge sheet. So this is the stipulated. In 2009, it happened. So when 
the 60 days period before 60 days itself the police filed the charge sheet before that itself unnecessarily they have filed a bail petition before the special court in Punjab that is uh, uh, in Chandigarh but it was uh, rejected stating that uh, the stipulated period is not completed and investigation is also over. Later they approached the high court then high court said with today 60 days period is over and you say that charge sheet is filed and you are enclosing a copy of the charge sheet no problem bail is given so against it to this bail is given but the problem is that charge sheet is not numbered this is the main problem so that charge sheet is not numbered so without numbering the same how can you say that it is taken cognizance of this is the legal point that has arisen so now the CBA, Serious Fraud Investigation, they have approached with the Supreme Court. Supreme Court has also clearly stated that when once the charge sheet is filed, even though it is not numbered, that means even though it is not taken cognizance of, definitely the accused has got a right to get the so-called default bail, 167 clause to CRPC. So, this is the question. And uh, actually, it was uh, very clearly answered by Honorable Justice Nar Radesh Rana, who authored the judgment at the end. Right? So, please remember, they have placed reliance on uh, Sanjay Dutt versus State 1994. So, you may be knowing Sanjay Dutt, is, uh, he was involved in that drug peddling case and uh, not drug case. He has purchased some uh, uh, weapons in that case also. And Filing of charge is sufficient was stated in Suresh Kumar Bikam Chand. Suresh Kumar Bikam Chand versus State of Maharashtra 2013. Filing of charge itself is sufficient. Taking cognizance is not material. So it is the so for taking consideration of section 167 class 2 CRPC that is default bail. So definitely you have to see whether the charge is filed within the stipulated time or not. That's all. In this connection, I want to take you back during the year 1985. Actually, this case is decided in 1986. You can see the citation. Chaganti, Sachinarayana and others versus state of AP. So here what happened is, it is relating to the Karanchedu incident, where I was also associated with the investigation. Actually, the incident took place on 17th uh, July 1985. On 19th July 1985, we arrested some accused and produced them before the court on 20th. And you know, the charge sheet has to be filed before 90 days. So actually, we filed the charge sheet on the 90th day. But the magistrate, of course, the other side advocate, Mr. Potil Venkatadri, was there. So he has argued that the reckoning of time should be calculated from the date of first but not from the date of remand. I think you are able to follow. Yepadate arash chesaru akkanunchi tombay rozul lopal anandar. Kani adi tappu yepadate remand icharu apatnunchi tombay rozul. That is one day that is there. So the, the judge, whatever it is, the judge granted them bail. But we approached the High Court of Andhra Pradesh. High Court of Andhra Pradesh clearly stated that the reckoning of time starts from the date of remand and not from the date of arrest. So once again, back to jail. Even though they were released on bail, they were sent back to jail. Supreme Court also confirmed the very good judgment. Of course, we fought for the same. Therefore, we remember the case very well. So please remember here. So the important critical point is the police or serious fraud investigation people say that it is not numbered. What is taking cognizance? So, numbering, charge sheet waste, waste in the rap, CC number, o, PR number, do travel. A number rakunda, charge sheet to chill to kazu. Any well education. Yes, it is also corrected to some extent because I know. So, normal gain yes, they will file the loosely knitted charge sheet without any details. So, what is the purpose of filing the charge sheet? Alan charge sheet waste the end. Kani. Rules of criminal practice says that when once the charge sheet filed, you have to take it on cognizance. And you have to quarries. That number lack on the pump down clear do. Kani proceeds a general game there with the number I couldn't be advocates can be challenged with the number of 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 the
ఓన్లీ చెత్త చార్జ్షీట్ వేస్తే ఏ ఉపయోగం ఏదో ఫార్మల్గా వేస్తే ఉపయోగం కాబట్టి మంచి చార్జ్షీట్ ఎప్పుడు పడుతుంది సీసీ నెంబర్ వస్తేనే చార్జ్షీట్ కింద లెక్క ఆ పాయింట్ మీద సీరియస్ ఫ్రాడ్ ఇన్వెస్టిగేషన్ చేశారు వాళ్ళు చేశారు బట్ ఇది సుప్రీం కోర్టు సైడ్ వెన్ వన్స్ వెదర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెన్ వన్స్ చార్జ్షీట్ ఈస్ ఫైల్డ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డీమ్డ్ దట్ చార్జ్షీట్ హెస్ బిన్ ఫైల్డ్ అండ్ దే హవ్ గాట్ ఎడ్ ఛాన్స్ ఫర్ గెటింగ్ ద సో కాల్డ్ డిఫాల్ట్ బ్యాక్ వెరీ గుడ్ కేస్ ప్లీజ్ రీడ్ ఇట్ అండ్ అండ్ రిచ్ యువర్ లీగల్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఎప్పుడు వస్తూ ఉంటాయి సంవత్సరానికి ఒక కేసు వస్తూ ఉంటుంది ఎయిటీ ఫైవ్లో మేము చేసాం కానీ ఆ కేసు మాకు బాగా వస్తుంది అందుకని ఈ వీడియో చేశాను థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్